If you're like me, you probably find it annoying to have to remember to tell your Echo device that you're going away every time you leave your home. Alexa, I'm leaving. Goodbye. I'll start guarding now. And then when you return home, you have to try to remember to tell it to stop guarding your home. Alexa, I'm home. Okay, I've stopped guarding your home. Wouldn't it be better if you could automate this so that when you leave home, your Echo device automatically starts guarding your home? And then after you return, it stops guarding all automatically. I'm going to show you how to set that up. That's up next. In the former video that you see on your screen, I did some testing of the effectiveness of Alexa Guard in detecting both glass breakage and also the detection of smoke alarms. Uh, if you haven't checked that out, it'd be worthwhile. In that video, I show you how to set up Alexa Guard. I go into a lot of detail so that you can get it set up not only with the detection of glass breakage or smoke alarms, but also with the option of away lighting in which it simulates someone being home turning off and on lights while you're gone. So you want to check that out. As I mentioned, I do a glass break test and I simulate the breakage of glass and then show you in the device how it detects it and how it notifies you of the glass breakage. Then following that, I do a smoke alarm test where again, I trigger my smoke alarm and then I see how effective the uh, Echo device is in notifying me of that event while I'm in away mode. So you'll want to check that video out if you haven't had the opportunity yet. Okay, so once you have Echo Guard set up in your Amazon Echo app, then you have the ability to control Alexa Guard when you depart or when you return home, but you only have that control manually. To get Guard to trigger automatically, what you need to do is integrate SmartThings with your Amazon Alexa app. And to do that, you need to enable the SmartThings skill. I have a video that goes into detail to show you the steps on how to integrate your SmartThings devices into the Alexa app. Once you get that all set up, then there's one additional thing you need for this automation. You'll have to install Echo Speaks. Echo Speaks is an app that is available through the SmartThings Community Installer. If you haven't seen the video yet, I show you how to set up the SmartThings Community Installer. The Community Installer enables you to easily install the community-made apps that allow automations like this auto trigger of Echo Guard. So once you get Echo Speaks installed, you can just follow along with the steps that I'm going to show you to set it up so that whenever everyone in your family leaves your house, the Echo Guard will be auto triggered to guard mode. And then when any one individual returns home, then Echo Speaks will cause your Echo device to be triggered back to home mode. So let's get into the setup within Echo Speaks. I'm going to go ahead and click on my SmartThings icon. As you'll note, I am still using the Classic app as the new app is not fully ready yet. So I'll be demonstrating this information in the Classic app. So let's go into the SmartThings app. Okay, I'm going to go here to this, which is Automations. You want to make sure you're in the Smart App tab. And here is my Echo Speaks. And I was in here earlier, and as you'll see, there is uh, updates available. So this is a good opportunity for me to show you how easy it is to update from the Community Installer. So I'm going to save my application. Then I'm going to scroll down to the Community Installer here. Click on that. I'm going to go down in and I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to this area here where it says installer home and it's going to have me sign in with my Samsung account so I'm going to do that okay so it's loading the data and if we go down to the um, Echo Speaks app you'll see right up here in the corner it, it shows that there's updates available so to update you just click on 
anywhere on this tile here and you go down and you'll see here at the bottom it shows that there are updates for the parent app for the two child apps uh, so then to update you simply hit this update button and you'll see it's updating the devices update process completed and then it just gives you the details of everything that's been updated so you hit done and we can save okay and now when we go back into the echo speaks app you can see that it's still showing that there's updates required so to accept the community installer updates all you need to do is hit save and now when we go into echo speaks it shows that there's a uh, release notes so it shows that everything's been updated at this point so we can simply hit next okay I see that there are still code updates available for the server uh, so I su suspect I have to do a two-step update on this so I can update that after this demonstration so the first thing you want to do is hit save and then go back into your echo speaks app and let's scroll down uh, if this is your first time setting up echo speaks a couple things you want to do uh, you want to go uh, all the way down to uh, let's see where it says manage notifications this section here click on that little arrow to go in and you want to make sure that you have it set to send you push notifications that's optional but if you set this you'll be assured of getting notifications anytime updates are available and those will come straight to your phone down here at the bottom you want to also click on send for updates uh, and that's for the code update alerts okay then hit done on that then the other thing you want to check if this is your first time setting this up want to make sure that all of your devices are showing up now this will automatically connect to those devices which are compatible in echo speaks now I have echo twos and echo threes and they are compatible so you can click on that and it'll show you which echo dots are installed I have my three echo dots in here the kitchen echo dot is uh, version 3 and the other are uh, version 2 okay uh, hit done again okay this is the point where you set up your control of Alexa guard so that you can automate it where it says Alexa guard control so we want to tap on that and where it says automate guard changes there click on that as well okay and what we want to do is go down to where it says away when these devices are all away so here you'll see I have my family's three devices I'm gonna click on each of those devices so when all of these devices are away I want my Alexa devices to go into guard mode automatically hit done and it's that easy you can change these parameters if you want to delay so many seconds before arming I have it set to the default of 30 seconds if that's good for you that's all it takes to set this up and you hit done now when all these devices are gone from your home it will automatically go into guard mode when any one of these devices enter back into your geofence uh, it'll automatically stop Alexa guard and put it into home mode go ahead and hit done and you'll see that it says current status home automation enabled tap to proceed so we just need to hit save at this point and you're done echo speaks will now provide the automation you need to auto start your echo dots and put them into guard mode and then auto stop them when you return home so I trust you found this video helpful uh, if you did, please give it a like. That'll tell the YouTube algorithms that this is popular content 
and should be reviewed by other smart home technology buffs. Don't forget to click on that little icon in the upper right hand corner so that you can access links to the other videos I mentioned. If you hadn't had the opportunity to check those out, I'd encourage you to do so. Some pretty neat automations there. Also be advised that I put in an informational link on how to set up Echo Speaks. It's in the description below this video. Be sure to set this up. It is one of the best integrations available for your SmartThings application. And I would highly recommend that you include this so that you can include your Echo device automations within your SmartThings applications. Thanks for watching today and we'll see you next time.